to the shot of tequila which is correct <laughs> no surprise there um, I'm also gonna do a glass of white wine you can honestly just give me the whole bottle though I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna be here tonight you guys know when I come to visit you I like to stay for a while so yeah just bring me a whole bottle of white wine and then a shot of tequila please Thank you. <laughs> Well, hello there, handsome. Oh. And what do I owe the pleasure? It's fancy meeting someone as dapper as you around these parts. Are you going somewhere important? You look like an important person to somebody. Mm. Sorry, am I flattering you a little bit too much? You know what they say about us girls from the South? We got a bit of a charm to us, so don't take it too serious, all right? <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? What do you have? Oh, really? Guess what? Tequila just so happens to be what I'm drinking as well. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, when Dan comes back around with mine, I'll tell him to come bring us another one, all right? Yeah, he's, he's real nice. I used to bartend here as well for about seven years. I know. I don't look it, but I was a pretty mean bartender. <laughs> I don't know how my memorization skills are. It's been quite a while since I've been behind there, but yeah. Oh, I ended up quitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to pursue my own career, which was not bartending. I'm not really passionate about that. What did I want to do? Mm, can you guess? Oh, shucks, you just met me. You're right. Uh, well, I don't know if you've heard me humming over here, but I am a singer and a songwriter. Not quite as good of a musician as I am the first two, but I'm working on it. I'm working on my instruments. 
learning all my stuff. Yeah, but right now I'm for sure a singer-songwriter. Very confident in that description of me. And uh, I am really working hard on this one song. I'm trying to finish it up and maybe get it on the radio. Yeah, maybe, maybe after a couple drinks I'll sing for you. <laughs> I love that you asked, though. It means a lot to me. Hmm. Oh, looks like Dan's coming back with my drinks right now. Hey, Dan. Can we get uh, another shot of tequila, please? Thank you kindly. Definitely forgot to ask for your name. Who might you be? Well, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Cherie. Cherie Lorraine. And, uh... I'm from around here. Are you local? Because I don't think I've ever seen you, at least in this establishment. I don't really go to too many different local bars this is kind of my spot so if you hang out in another joint it might be hard for me to run around into you but hmm. yeah I figured you weren't from around here that's all right hmm. I feel like I'm not the only one that feels this way but I think that we secretly love tourists down here it's just so fun to share the southern hospitality with them. I feel like it's like nothing they ever seen. I swear. Some people come down here and it's like a whole new world for them. Ain't that something? Shoot. Well, I'm gonna pour myself a, a glass of this wine that Dan has so kindly brought to me. And we can take our shots of tequila together. Yeah, I know wine and tequila aren't really a match made in heaven, but what can I say? I got a bit of a strange palate. <laughs> wanted a little something with a with a kick, you know. Something mellow, nice and sweet to balance it out at the end. Thank you, Dan. Here's your shot. Oh, did you want ice with it? Yeah. Alrighty, here you are. One shot of tequila on the rocks, and I'll take mine with you. All right, cheers. Ooh, like I said, a kick. Hmm. <laughs> So tell me about yourself. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Don't say that. Everybody likes country. You just haven't found the right song yet. Or the right person to think of when you're listening to it. I think love will change anybody's music taste. And there's a lot of country songs about love. There's also a lot of good heartbreak songs. So... If you ever got your heart broke, you should go and listen to some country. 
It'll help fix it right up for you. I swear, I swear on my mama, which is the woman who got me into listening to country in the first place. She loves country music. I wouldn't be my mother's daughter if I didn't like country, I swear. It's just in my DNA. <laughs> oh, what do your parents like? They live around here? Or? Oh, I see. Well, you're mighty strong for going through that. I have a lot of admiration for people like you. It's not easy. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, you deserve it. You deserve all the happiness in the world. I mean, I know I don't know you very well, but I can already tell you're just such a good-hearted person inside. And anyone like that deserves a life full of purity and goodness. Don't you agree? Hmm. I think we're good. You doing all right? Yeah, we're good, Dan. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? <laughs> all right. I'd just like to check in and make sure. I think I'm going to take a, a little sip of my wine here. Real sweet. I like this one. It's a Pinot Grigio. It's one of my favorites. I also really like a good Riesling, but that's like real sweet. Real, real sweet. It's a little too sweet for me sometimes. You look like you're almost finished with your tequila. Did you want some of my wine? I have a whole bottle. I mean, I wasn't necessarily planning on sharing, but I think I could. Uh, sacrifice just a little bit. Yeah, sure, I can pour you a glass. Here, let me see your cup. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Cheers. Mm. So, I know I asked you earlier if you were going somewhere important, you didn't really answer me. What are you in town for? I'm very curious. Like I said, I mean, it's not every day that someone this fancy comes into this place and sits down nonchalant like nothing, nothing's wrong, nothing's different. Not to say anything is wrong with you. To be honest, it's the exact opposite. I've never seen so many things going right all at once. It's pretty uncanny. You probably get told that all the time though, don't you? I figured. Hmm. So what do you do for work? Um, uh, that makes a lot of sense. No, no, nothing. Nothing at all. I'm not one to judge. Don't you worry. One little bit. You have uh, really nice eyes, by the way. I don't know if I said that yet, but you have some real nice eyes. I like looking at them. You look like you have some real smooth skin, too. Do you mind if I touch it? I know that's super weird. Yeah, I can. All right. It looks just so soft. Oh my God, and it is smoother than I ever felt in my life. Crazy, crazy. How nice. Hmm. All right. 
thanks for letting me touch. I won't, I won't go much longer on that because I don't know if I'll be able to stop myself. But <laughs> mm. if I'll sing for you. I told you maybe after a couple drinks I've only had one shot and a few sips of my wine. I'm not there yet. I'm not ready. Although, you know what I just remembered? They have karaoke here every Monday. So you know what? You and me, we're gonna go on a karaoke date. Alright, this coming Monday, are you free? Oh, what could possibly be more important than going to karaoke with me? Your dog's birthday. <sighs> Alright, I can't argue with that. What about after though? Does your dog need to have a birthday party at night? Can't it be in the afternoon or something? Your dog doesn't know the difference. Yeah, just move it up a little bit. And then come meet me after. Karaoke starts around 7.30, I believe. Unless they changed it. Hey, Dan. What time is karaoke on Mondays now? It's 8 now. 8. I was wrong. See? This is why you gotta ask the people that still work here. Because I certainly do not. <laughs> Yep, I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Bigger and better things in life for myself. Hopefully in love, but I've had a hard time. Can I make a confession? It's honestly one of my greatest fears, so don't laugh, all right? I'm being real honest right now, real vulnerable. But truth be told, I feel like I've been alone for so long. I honestly came in here tonight to ask for advice from my old friends, but I don't feel like they're gonna have any words of wisdom for me. They don't normally. They usually just tell me to go and play the field, get drunk, and have a good old time. But the thing is, I've been doing that. I've been alone. I've been on my own for so long that I've just gotten used to being by myself, having no expectations from nobody, no one expecting anything from me. But at that same time, there's this part of me inside that I can't quite get rid of that is just obsessed with the idea of being in love, having a significant other. You know, just partner that you do everything with. Absolutely everything. I want that. I do. I think I just don't know how. At this point, I've been alone for so long and I'm so comfortable with it. I'm starting to get afraid that even if I did find someone I fancied a lot, I'd pass them on by because I just enjoy being in my own company even more. I think I'm destined to be alone forever. Alright. Well, me neither. I mean, hopefully. I really hope not. What about you? Have you ever been in love? I know we talked a little bit about heartbreak and you got kind of quiet. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't need to talk about it. I, I definitely understand. I just want you to know that. I understand. I really do. Yeah. Love is a B-I-T-C-H. Let me tell you what. Really is. Which is why I've been by myself. But, I mean, I feel the same way as you. I I don't necessarily want to be alone forever. I have an idea. 
Hey Dan, could you print me off a piece of receipt paper, please? Thank you, yeah, it can just be blank. Like about yay long. Perfect, thank you very much. Just don't worry about it. You'll see in a second. Just have some patience, child, jeez. I'm just kidding. You're sweet as sugar. Honestly, you're like an angel. <laughs> so is Dan. He really is an angel. I tell him all the time. You know, one time, I got so wasted here. I forgot my car keys. And I started walking out to the parking lot. It was real bad. Real embarrassing night for me. And you know what Dan did? He took my car keys and he hid them. I'm a pretty stubborn drunk. I like to have my way. But he took my car keys and he hid them from me. And he told me I wasn't allowed to leave. And if I were gonna leave, he was gonna drive me home. And normally I wouldn't trust a man to do all that, especially when I'm in that state. But Dan, he is as sweet as pumpkin pie, I swear. And he was there for me. Didn't put his hands on me or nothing. So, ever since then, he has the utmost respect for me. We've also had a discussion and we've both confirmed we don't have feelings for each other, so. I think that helped him not wanting to do anything with me. When you work with someone for years, you get kind of sick of them, so. I could see why he doesn't want to be with me. <laughs> We're good friends, though. It's always nice to have a good friend. Or three. Or ten. You need friends. You need all the friends that you can get, but good quality friends. Quality over quantity. That's what my mama always taught me. And she was right. Let me tell you what. She was right. Thank you, Dan. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Dan, do you have a pen? Thank you so much. All right, I am going to write my number down for you. And if there is ever a time in your life where situation opens up or you know you have a free position for a romantic interest I would love to be considered we take this please thank you I'm serious if you don't want to be alone forever and you find yourself in a position where it looks to be that that might be what's gonna happen to you please give me a call chances are I'll still be by myself and I don't want it to be that way so if you call me up and you tell me hey Sheree I don't want to be alone I'll be ready for you I'll be waiting for your call actually because I don't really have anyone else that I would extend this offer to speaking of which I don't know you very well so before you leave I want to ask you a couple more questions just to make sure that this would actually work yeah that's fair you can ask me some too smarty hmm. all right so you want a family? You want kids? I mean, I'm just asking. I know you can never predict what's gonna happen in the future, but it's always good to ask. I don't know if I want kids either, though. To be honest, it's so hard to see which way the world is going right now. Sometimes I think that I would be real good at raising the next generation. Although I feel like I might be able to influence them with my music 
instead. I think that might be a little bit easier for me personally. Especially if I'm touring all the time. I don't know if I'd want to have to leave my kids back home unless their daddy was with them. Mm. But like I said, I've been alone for so long. I've been planning my life for myself. So haven't much considered what it would look like with somebody else. Mm. How you feeling? Are you good to drive? Yeah, I know I seen you drink the whole glass of wine after you had that shot of tequila. I mean, we haven't been here very long. Keep bumping the table, making noise, vibrations. been enjoying. Oh, you are too kind. <laughs> Alright, what else? What else? The food. Yes, we have amazing food down here. It's honestly some of the best in the world in my opinion. Girls are pretty cute here too, huh? And we're real nice. Real sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, I think I might be ready to sing my song for you. But remember, I am trying to get this on the radio, so don't tell nobody. This is a super top secret recording session right here. Keep the memory in your brain only. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. Honey, darling, what are you drinking? Something about the day. Crashing of the waves, it's a hard life you're thinking. 
thinking about a lady that you're missing You're waiting for your pain to float itself away on the breeze But you're just waiting there for me Drinking tequila, waiting on the day and the crashing of the waves. But this hard life you're living with a lady that you're missing, sitting with this pain, it can float itself away on the breeze. If you just come home with me. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I made that last verse up <laughs> to fit the circumstances of right now. The first part was pre-written, but the second part, that was made just for you. <laughs> what did you think? Did you like it? I mean, I know country music's not your cup of tea. With that in mind, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was tolerable. Okay, that's not really a compliment, sir. Oh, you're just joking. Uh huh. Right, right. I've seen plenty of jokes like yours. And you know what? They never make me laugh. You're a funny one. You are a funny one. And you're clever too. Real clever. I like that. I like a lot of things about you from what I've been able to see in the last... How long have we even been here? I can't even tell at this point. Hmm. Well, I reckon I do need to get going pretty soon. Um, karaoke on Monday, for sure, you gonna be there. Don't flake on me, alright? Okay, and if you want to see me sooner, just let me know, give me a call. I do have text as well. You can text me, but I prefer to hear your smooth, nice, low voice. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna be getting going. You coming with me? Well, alrighty then. Maybe next time. Are you sure you're good to drive? The cops are out around here, so you need to be real careful. I would hate you if something were to happen to you tonight feel partially responsible for influencing you to drink so much. Alright. Hey, it was your words and not mine. Just remember that if anything does happen, alright. You said that you were alright. I was trying to bring you to my house and make you some tea. Get you feeling nice and warm and cozy. But if you want to stay here, that's fine. That's it. You. Well, in any case, I'm going to get going then. It was a real, real pleasure to spend some nice quality time with you. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Don't drink too much, you hear? Stay safe out there, yeah? Alright, well, I best get going, but hopefully I'll see you very soon here. I think I'm gonna go out the back door, that's where my car is. Take care of yourself now.
and I'll hopefully see you around. Yeah, you too. <laughs> All right, well, goodbye. Oh, I almost forgot. Hey, Dan. Here's your tip. Brought you some special coins. <laughs> I'll leave them on the counter, all right. Thank you. I'll see you next time. It was so nice to see you guys. I miss you. I miss all y'all. All right. See you later, stranger.